G'day all. I just want to take this opportunity to talk about the legislation that went through Parliament last night that reforms our sector. It's bold and it's probably some of the biggest changes we've ever seen since CFA was started. And it's been a couple of years in coming and, and I accept and understand that there's a whole lot of emotion and passion, passion now, particularly the legislation has passed and I can tell you I, I felt that last night myself so I, I understand that. But let's face it, um, the reality is um, we have to now take this and grasp this opportunity and move on. Um, this is a real opportunity for CFA to, to grow and develop volunteerism, to really, we're a world-class organisation, we're a professional organisation, we're one of the biggest volunteer organisations in the world, and now we've got an opportunity to focus full-time on that. You can look at this, I think this is a really great opportunity. We've got some presumptive legislation, which for volunteers is some of the best legislation we've got in this country to support our volunteers. We've now got a greater degree of autonomy in this space for us to grow and support volunteers, and that's gotta be our focus moving forward. From now on, it's about how we engage with our volunteers, with our people, to make sure we, we're listening, that when we're sitting at the table and we're developing a new model, that we're taking on board comments to develop the best CFA um, that we possibly can and grow it for the better of, it, of the Victorian community and our people. Um, so the journey begins now, people. Um, let's grasp this as an opportunity. I think it is one and let's uh, leap forward with it.